Okay, so getting your shit together in the beginning is complete fucking bullshit. Because you're doing things that you, you know you should have done years ago, months ago, weeks ago. And you keep realizing shit you need to do. And then suddenly your TDL is like 100 items long or 70 items long. And you're fucking overwhelmed as fuck by it. And what I call the solution to that is a 50% three-month strategy. Like, you... Think to yourself, oh, I gotta work 16 hours a day for two, three weeks to get all this shit done. No, you're not gonna fucking do that. It's impossible. Don't try to go from 0% efficiency or like 2, 5, maybe 10% efficiency if you're lucky for most fucking Americans uh, who aren't, you know, second generation immigrants who work hard as fuck because their parents came over the boat and taught them, you know, work ethic. A spoiled motherfuckers. Goddamn, it's like you can't go from 2% efficiency to 100% efficiency. What you got to do is 50% efficiency. So, you know, after work, maybe do two hours of productive stuff, right? And then you do two hours of playing sports or creative projects or playing music, whatever, or, or going to the gym, whatever. Like, and you know, one hour watching TV, whatever the case may be, you know? Or put one hour playing video games, two hours playing video games. If that's what's meaningfully engaging for you. You know, or you do one hour responsibility, one hour video games, one hour responsibility, one hour video games, whatever works. But you're not gonna just suddenly be at 100% efficiency. A lot of people who try to get their shit together, like, all right, I'm gonna fucking be productive all fucking day long. And I made that mistake so many fucking times, and I would go at it for like maybe five, six, seven days, and then I would just burn out. And then for like two or three weeks, it's nothing but binge eat, binge watch Netflix and binge eat junk food. So you just gotta learn to negotiate with yourself, like. What's the amount of work I'm willing to do? And I know starting off is bullshit. Like, after three months, once I'm caught up on my to-do list, I'm proactive on everything, I am I got my email all caught up, I got all rid of that spam mail, and I only spend two minutes a day attending to my email, you know. Um, I, I pick up after myself, so I don't have to clean my room that often. When I do clean my room, it's like ten minutes a week, it's just like sweeping and, you know, using the... Uh, the whatever you call it, the Swifter picker up or whatever that the mop damn thing, this mop, whatever this is, the uh, Swiffer wet jet. It's like a mop, but you don't have to use a bucket. You know, it sprays out. It's really fucking cool. I mean, goddamn, if you, this is like one of the best inventions ever. Look at that, fucking great. Spray shit out and just clean it up. And goddamn, it's just so. It's like so much more goddamn efficient than a mop and a fucking bucket. That's just a pain in the ass. Screw that. So, all right. So what else? It's just for, for procrastin procrastination. All right. So you got to make taking care of shit as fun as possible. So, like, find a really fun podcast like um, uh, the one Andrew Schultz has. One with a lot of jokes. It's really funny. Just find stuff that is fun to listen to. To listen to while you're taking care of stuff, while you're checking your emails, or t you know, just find ways to make attending to your responsibilities and obligations as fun as fucking possible. Ask your day, ask yourself every single day, how can I make this as fun as possible? And when you schedule your day, realize your schedule isn't in prison. Design the day you want. All right, because most people design their schedules like, well, I have to do this, and I have to do that, and I have to do this, and I have to do that, and then I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna play video games because who has to do all who wants to do all these things I have to fucking do and that's what people screw themselves it's like no design the day you want you know you go to work you come home maybe do an hour responsibility maybe do 30 minutes maybe two hours better than what it was before which was fucking zero or you know only when something came up as a fucking emergency like you got a, a bill that your know, payment is several weeks late it's gonna get sent to collections list as you pay it right now and then you take care of it and a bunch of sli shit is just slipping by that you never take care of and ugh, it just builds up and builds up it's fucking terrible dude it's fucking terrible and it's like you gotta re reorient your perspective and your worldview on your TDL on your to-do list and make it so that it's compelling to do like okay I'm gonna commit to doing at least one hour of respect of responsibility a day and then in six months I'll be caught up and then if you do an extra 30 minutes or an extra hour you're like pump like yeah I fucking kicked ass today 
Like, set your fucking bar lower so that you can exceed it. Don't set it really fucking high and then you don't achieve it and you're like, fuck. I was supposed to do four hours of responsibility today and I'm supposed to do eight hours of responsibility on, you know, Saturday and Sunday and I just ended up not doing any of it because it was too overwhelming to do that much work and I just played video games and watched Netflix after work all day, every day after work. It's like, nah, fuck that. Fuck that. So, I'm going to keep working on these ideas. Also, for motivation, you got to meet your emotional needs. I'm going to make a whole video essay about motivation, procrastination, and how I overcame it. And then I'm going to talk to other people who overcame procrastination, who became really efficient, really effective, and get their tips. And I'm going to coalesce all these tips. And I'm going to build on it and build on it and build on it until I have tips that actually fucking work. How to build a support network. So you have friends to tell who you can share good news with. Like, how do you find those people? Where do you go and find those? Like, Jordan Peterson lays out a bunch of ideas, but he doesn't talk about execution. Like, he doesn't know how to go from zero to where he was at, or he is at, a hundred, because he was always productive his entire fucking life. So he doesn't know how to come up from nothing. And not a lot of people who came up from being a lazy fucking asshole to being productive have went out and shared their ideas of like their methods of how they went and did that or the ideas came to them subconsciously and they acted on them but they didn't fully realize the strategy they were adopting and why it worked but I hit my head against the wall thousands of times trying to get my shit together making the mistake of cracking the whip and then procrastinating cracking the whip on myself like I'm my own fucking slave and then procrastinating cracking the fucking whip and then procrastinating for fucking two weeks net watching Netflix binge watching junk food then then two weeks of going to the gym and eating healthy but not doing any not taking any of my responsibilities but at least I was healthy and then you know go a month without attending to my responsibilities at all or two months or three months and then for like two weeks I try to do it for you know four hours a weekday and eight hours on the weekends and I burn myself out and I go back to a month of not fucking doing any responsibility attending to any responsibilities whatsoever it's like, fuck, man. So, when I actually take these ideas and turn into a well-formulated video essay, I think it can be extremely popular and will get fucking hundreds of thousands of views. In the meantime, it's just uh, me and my stupid face and my fucking Samsung Galaxy and um, no video editing. And uh, it's not going to get a lot of views. I'm not going to get a lot of views on any of my videos. I'm lucky if I get fucking 20 views on a video right now. That I'm putting out because I'm just doing off the cuff shit, but it's what I gotta do for myself right now. In the future, I'll make videos for the viewers. Right now, this is for myself, so I don't give a fuck if some of my videos get zero views because some of them get zero fucking views or they get one view or get two views. Because, like, I'm not designing it with people in mind, I'm designing it with myself in mind, and then maybe in a year I can take some of these videos and turn it into a documentary about how to go from a lazy piece of shit asshole being somewhat together and being on the way to self-actualization to being on the way to fully realizing your potential and being highly efficient and one day maybe being 100% efficient because you have a meaningful fucking job and you have a meaningful family and you love the sport you play or jiu-jitsu or mixed martial arts or going to the gym or running or whatever the fuck it is or fucking gymnastics I don't give a fuck you know but there's a lot of learning you gotta do in the meantime, and you just uh, have to realize not to give up. There's, it's all about finding the right ideas. With the right ideas, you can solve any problem, but the, there's not enough good ideas out there. So you've got to come up with some of the young, your own ideas. Brainstorm, brainstorm, okay. Do a Q&A journal. Like, ask, ask yourself questions. How can I solve this problem? And just brainstorm a bunch of ideas. Half of them will be fucking retarded. It'll be stupid, but who cares? You're starting off. You know, you're not going to be great at coming up with ideas when you first start off but if just one out of ten ideas is a really great fucking idea that helps you solve a major problem in your fucking life then fucking hooray motherfucker you're on your goddamn way so that's how you overcome procrastination that's how you start becoming productive and motivated but there's also the you know the physical the aspect of getting physically healthy that I have to talk about the aspect of get, meeting your emotional needs that I have to get into the aspect of 
a bunch of other dimensions of it that need to go into it, and then how to st structure all that. Maybe one day I'll write a fucking book if I really get my shit together.